This must be a breather and I think it's not quite working properly. And No, I'm pretty happy with it, but to be honest, I just disconnected from the battery and then reconnected it. Easy as that. Um, that sweet smell. If you know, you know. Good morning everyone, what's going on today? It's Sunday morning today and we, we bailed this Soten stuff last night when um, we thought we ran out of fuel. Come on, he makes. But what actually happened is I bought some fuel down this morning to, to fill it up again and I opened the lid and there was fuel in there. We just thought last, that's exactly what it sounded like, sounded like I ran out of fuel. And I think this must be a breather and I think it's not quite working properly and so this was screwed on and then it couldn't suck anymore. It sucked all the air out of it and then it just stopped sucking fuel then. So, but I've wrapped a couple this morning to come down and see there was a little sensor issue. It wasn't counting the number of rotations that it was doing, but I came down this morning and it was working. So there must be a loose wire here somewhere that's causing it, but no, we're gonna wrap the rest of them this morning. I stacked a few up there. We've done four or five, I think so far. Um, Dan's on his way out now and we'll get the rest from the paddock and bring them up here and start wrapping them. No, I'm pretty happy with it, but good solid bale too. So there's a road that runs through the middle here. Well, an old road that runs through the middle. So that's why we didn't cut the middle there just because there's a few rocks and things. Full load on, we got four on. Dan's bringing another two up with the tractor. We got them all carted now, just one more load and then we'll start wrapping them. I'm having that same trouble, it was working fine this morning and now I've come back down and it's, it's not counting the rotations. It's just a little pin here. But the fella had a bit of trouble when he was when we were out there and I was picking it up, he showed me how to use it. And he was having a little bit of trouble there. It's just a little connection in the in the pin that goes into the computer. So I just gotta get that sorted out and then we should be away. I got the glitch worked out. To be honest, I just disconnected from the battery and then reconnected and that seems to be working now. Got Dean in the tractor, we're just we're just taking them up to the top of the hill there. Sacking on a bit of a hill so they're not no chance of sort of sitting in water or anything. Look <laughs> at these two dingoes. He makes come here. So I've just got the remote here when Dan moves this bale. So it'd be a one man job if I was sitting in the tractor, I'd have this in the tractor. I'd move this, and I'd just hit double tap auto start. And we'll go around a couple of times and you see the knife flick up. It just releases the wrap then. It is one of the more satisfying things in life, I reckon. So I just put out many, ever many times I want to go around in the computer there, and then it does that. And then it lifts the knife up, cuts it. 
and then flicks it off. Easy as that. Oh yeah, we're just gonna take the tractor and baler and then the tractor and the wrapper back home now. Just get out of the weather. I'll leave the rake and the mower here. Hopefully cut the next cut the rest of it by the end of the week. By the end of next week it's sort of calling for rain tomorrow or Tuesday. Tomorrow and Tuesday, so we'll see what happens after that. Weather's looking alright after that at the moment. Just take them back, put them in the shed to get them out of the weather, especially with all the electrics on this. Just don't want it getting wet. There's no shed here, but it's not far home. So. Alrighty, we're back home now. Uh, the, back the wrapper in the shed there, I'll have a look, see if I can see any issues with the right wiring. I might ring Tanko or ring someone that knows a bit more about it and see if, because it seems like a bit of a glitch because it'd definitely count the first rotation, you'd see it on the screen, but then it wouldn't count the ones after that. So that and that tells me that it senses working because it's counting the first one, but then it doesn't count after that. So it's telling me there might be a glitch or something because then I took the terminals off the battery and you know just completely killed it of power and put them back on and it worked fine never missed a beat after that don't know it's in the shed there i'll ring some it's sun, sunday today so i'll ring someone tomorrow but i'll be keen to open one of those bales up in you know, a couple of weeks probably takes a couple of weeks to ferment you'll smell it you'll know because it'll it'll be a really strong smell around the bales there um that sweet smell if you know you know so i'll be sure to show you what it looks like inside once it's done its thing but it'll be pretty cool should be pretty should be really nice stuff actually so yeah, there's a bit of bad weather coming tomorrow and tuesday but possibly towards the end of the week there we will um we will um cut the rest of it anyway guys we're shearing tomorrow so i'm just cleaning up the shed and mustering a few sheep and things and i uh, hope you enjoy that one and with that we'll we'll catch you in the next one Alrighty, see ya bye